The Science of Learning is a six-part series that is intended to summarize the existing research from cognitive science related to how students learn and connect this research to its practical implications for teaching and learning. The fifth question in the science of learning is what motivates students to learn? Beliefs about intelligence are important predictors of students' behavior in school. Teachers should know that students are more motivated if they believe that intelligence and ability can be improved through hard work. Teachers can contribute to students' beliefs about their ability to improve their intelligence by praising productive student effort and strategies, rather than their ability. Teachers can prompt students to feel more in control of their learning by encouraging them to set learning goals, rather than performance goals. Think goals for improvement as opposed to goals for competence or approval. Self-determined motivation, which is a consequence of values or pure interest, leads to better long-term outcomes than controlled motivation, which is a consequence of reward or punishment or some other perceptions of self-worth. Teachers control a number of factors related to reward or praise that influence student motivation. The teacher can recognize whether a task is one that students are already motivated to perform. Teachers decide whether the reward being offered is verbal or tangible. Teachers also decide whether the reward offered for a task is expected or something unexpected. The teacher decides what type of praise they're going to offer. Praise for effort, completion, or quality of performance. Teachers also decide when to praise or reward, whether it occurs immediately or after a delay. The ability to monitor their own thinking can help students identify what they do and do not know. But people are often unable to accurately judge their own learning and understanding. So teachers can engage students in tasks that will allow them to reliably monitor their own learning through testing, self-testing, or explanation. If not encouraged to use these tasks as a guide, students are likely to make judgments about their own knowledge based on how familiar their situation feels and whether they have partial or related information, and these cues can often be misleading. In order for students to be able to properly examine their own understanding, students need to be placed in an environment where they believe that they belong and are accepted. Teachers can reassure students that doubts about belonging are common and will diminish over time. And finally, teachers can encourage students to see critical feedback as a sign of others' beliefs that they are able to meet high standards. If you'd like to read the original research, it can be found at www.deansforimpact.org. This has been a Kaizen Teaching Production. You can find this video on my YouTube page and much more information on my Facebook page. Have a great day. Cheers.